What is SHRM, Strategic Human Resource Management, and how is it different from human resources management? We'll find that out in this video here. And hey there, my name is Josh. I'm the founder of HR University. I have over seven years of experience in managing HR teams throughout the world, including countries like Pakistan, Spain, and Brazil. And in this lesson, we'll talk about strategic human resource management, the goals of it, the benefits of deploying it, and how to develop SHRM plans along with some examples. Well, let's first start with understanding strategic human resource management at its basics. SHRM helps the HR department maximize potential of an organization's workforce through strategic planning, talent management, leadership development, organizational design, and performance management. The main difference between HR management and strategic HR management is that HR management focuses on managing the regular day-to-day -day HR duties, while strategic HR management focuses on helping employees and the HR department achieve company goals through strategic working. Now, what are the goals of strategic human resource management? Well, SHRM works to develop an employee-centric culture where employee growth, development, health, well-being, and performance are heavily emphasized more than getting tasks done. And SHRM clarifies and enhances the organization's purpose to people so they truly understand the gist of their responsibilities and how they contribute to helping the organization achieve its purpose. In addition to that, strategic human resource management focuses on employee advancement to enhance their occupational status. And that means maybe finding their career path and being able to level them up into a new position with better pay and better benefits. And employee retention is another objective that the SHRM team strives to achieve. And know that employees feel valued when an organization thinks of their career progression and advancement. And these strategic tactics lead to employees being more loyal to an organization, which results in a better employee retention rate. And one main goal of strategic HR management is to practice flexibility. Because flexibility supports employees' autonomy, balance, and freedom. And ultimately, they start to perform better. And the SHRM team, so whoever's in charge of the strategic human resource management, to translate flexibility into higher productivity levels and employee engagement that improves workplace performance. Another fundamental goal of SHRM is to develop a diverse, equitable, and inclusive work environment. DI promotes a shared experience, provides broader perspectives, adds integrity, encourages innovation, and nurtures the workspace. Moreover, strategic human resource management also focuses on and prioritizes employee feedback to promote continuous improvement in the workspace. And one of the main functions of HR is to provide effective workforce management. It includes operational and strategic management and developing a plan that helps employees evolve. And to do so, you want to start by determining the purpose of your human resource strategy. If you don't have purpose and you don't have that why settled, well, it's going to be hard to get anywhere. And the next thing you want to do is look at the organizational structure of your company and find out how many levels are there. Check if you have a different human resource department within each class. Are some divisions larger than others? And once you obtain those answers to these questions, well, you'll have a better idea of how to start and proceed with strategic planning. The next step is to define goals based on your organization's needs. Defining goals helps you focus on developing an effective human resource management strategy, to say the least. If you don't have goals and you don't know where you're going, and if that's not aligned with your why, well, then you're in big trouble. So focus on your goals that provide you with direction and a framework also for measuring success. A goal is an objective you hope to achieve within a specific time frame, and it's something you want to accomplish while well, plan is quantifiable. For example, you might say, I want to increase my sales revenue by 20% to achieve a competitive advantage. And after your goals are visible and properly structured, you should determine your objectives. Objectives are measurable actions you take to meet your goals. They are essentially guidelines on how you achieve your goals, and it's important to make your objectives realistic. Remember that your objectives must not be too ambitious and ideal, but in fact, make them workable and easy for everyone to strive to achieve. Now, strategic human resource management is all about the strategies you develop and intend to use to achieve your objectives. There are three major types of strategies to work with here. So the first one is change strategy. This involves changing the current status quo or making changes that are already underway, whether that be a technology change or a stakeholder change. The second is a reinforcement strategy, which involves reinforcing existing practices and policies. While the last one is 
innovation strategy, which means introducing new ideas and processes. And know that your organization's strengths and weaknesses are the foundation for your strategic human resource management. And after you know which strategies to use, develop the techniques to work around and implement those strategies. Now, generally, there are two kinds of tactics, direct and indirect. Direct techniques involve implementing your strategies immediately. Their examples include hiring additional staff, promoting more people, giving raises to employees, and employee retention strategies. And indirect techniques involve using external resources to support your strategies. Its examples include advertising, training, and outsourcing services. And when developing strategic human resource management tactics, think about the results you expect from each tactic. Do you need immediate results? Or maybe you can wait a little longer. And how much money will you need? So what does that budget look like? And how much time do you have before you need to start seeing results? And how much time do stakeholders need before they need to start seeing results? Keep in mind that you can only do what you have authority and control over. So if you're trying to promote employees, but they report to someone in another position, it's going to be hard to do anything about it. Hence, remember to keep a focus on developing doable strategies and techniques. Next, you want to make sure to research plan and understand how you will implement your strategic plan. Planning is determining when, where, and how to execute each tactic. Planning includes deciding whether to act now, wait until later, or do nothing. While implementing, it's essential to closely monitor factors like age, race, and gender that may affect the composition of a workplace. So for example, about the age factor, you'll have to take into account the older employees who tend to have more significant experience than younger ones who are usually less experienced. And when it comes to gender, women typically make up about half of the workforce while men make up the rest. And it's important to take that data into consideration. And as soon as the implementation begins, when it comes to your strategy, start monitoring the performance. Monitoring is a process of evaluating what happens after implementation. It includes measuring performance against predetermined benchmarks. Monitoring also includes assessing the impact of any changes made by strategic HR management to improve effectiveness. And monitoring performance is an ongoing activity that helps determine what works and what doesn't and what requires constant attention. Now, there are several tools you can use like surveys, interviews, and observation to monitor work. And next comes performance evaluation, which is a process of comparing actual results to expected outcomes. And you wanna make sure to evaluate your plan by analyzing the data collected through monitoring. Performance evaluation is a crucial step because it helps you find out, well, if your strategies are working properly, and if not, well, then you need to change them. For example, if your HR strategies aren't producing the desired results, and maybe that's looking to recruit more diverse candidates, well, then you might want to consider changing your approach, including outsourcing strategic human resource services, among other tactics. Now, let's talk about a few strategic HR management plans. So the first one is training and development. The strategic plan involves identifying the employee's development needs and offering resources and training to help them improve their skills. Now, next up is employee relations, which involves managing employee relations to develop a healthy workspace. And another SHRM plan is performance management. Performance management plans include developing systems to track employees' performance over a certain period and creating ways to improve their productivity. And the last one includes compensation and benefits. Though it may seem not strategic at first, in fact, the hidden strategy behind this is to develop effective plans to attract and retain useful talent by offering them bonuses and compensation and doing so ultimately benefits the organization in the long run. Now, let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper into understanding how SHRM assists an organization. So businesses benefit from strategic human resource management because it allows HR departments to make better decisions by identifying areas that need improvement. For example here, companies can develop plans to improve productivity, reduce costs, increase profits, and enhance employee satisfaction. And strategic HR management enables you to work in sections. And what that means is that it helps establish sub-goals and objectives for HR to measure the step-by-step -step progress toward those final goals. And strategic human resource management makes sure that HR strategies align with business strategies to ensure coherence between goals. And that way you have a strong ecosystem. And strategic HR also promotes a progressing culture in an organization where all employees focus on continuously improving their skills and performance. And SHRM includes offering employee benefits and compensation plans that result in increased employee and job satisfaction. Now, last but not least, 
Sherm also leads to a better employee retention rate that contributes more towards the organization's success. That includes strategic human resource management and the overall business strategy, which helps with creating a productive environment but it also helps with other aspects like retaining employees. And if the human resource department succeeds in creating an effective strategy, it brings value to the whole organization. And strategic HR development takes time to create the right strategies. And of course, having the right plan in place creates a streamlined process that's easy to follow that helps an organization progress and prosper. And there we have it. We just covered in detail what strategic human resource management is in this video lesson. And if you have any questions, make sure to go ahead and drop in the comment section below. And if you feel like you have a better understanding of SHRM and HR strategy, make sure to go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our channel here at HR University, and I'll go ahead and see you on some of our other videos on this channel where we cover many of the different awesome things in HR. Cheers.